the topic is displacement current as we are discussing the time varying fields in case of time varying fields there is a displacement current for this we consider a maxwell's curl equation for magnetic field that is called an ampere circuit law for static condition the ampere circuit law is denoted by curl of h vector equals to j vector here j vector is called current density and we take a divergence on both side then the left side become divergence of curl of h vector and right side become divergence of j vector as we know identity that the divergence of curl of any vector is equals to zero so the divergence of curl of h vector becomes zero also divergence of j vector is equals to zero so these are the static conditions which satisfies the ampere circuit law that is curl of h equals to j vector but here we talk about a time varying fields for the time varying condition we use continuity of current we state that the divergence of j vector is equals to minus del rho v upon del t this is called a continuity of a current so from continuity of current the divergence of j vector is not equals to zero so the above condition is divergence of j vector should equals to zero but from continuity of a current the divergence of j vector is not equals to zero so there is a difference in compatibility for time varying condition so the ampere circuit law in static condition is denoted by curl of h vector equals to j vector but this relation of ampere circuit law cannot be used for time varying condition for this we add some quantity so that it may be compatible time varying condition so from ampere circuit law that is for static condition is curl of h vector equals to j vector and for time varying condition the curl of h vector is equals to j vector plus j suffix d vector this j suffix d vector is called displacement current density so we have to determine this term that is j suffix d vector and we also define it now again we take a divergence of curl of a h vector for time varying condition that is j plus jd vector now from here the in place of curl of h vector we can write j vector plus j suffix d vector open the bracket we get divergence of j vector plus divergence of j suffix d vector equals to 0 from here we get divergence of j vector equals to minus divergence of j suffix d vector or we can also write we take a minus sign to the left side that become minus divergence of j vector equals to divergence of j suffix d vector now we use a continuity of current equation that is divergence of j vector equals to minus del rho v upon del t we take a minus sign to the left side and it becomes minus divergence of j vector that is equals to del rho v upon del t in place of rho v we can write divergence of d vector so the divergence of electric flux density d vector is equals to volume charge density rho v that is from gauss's law in electrostatic so we take del upon del t with a vector that is d vector so it becomes divergence of del d vector upon del t now we have to equate both the equations and we find that divergence of j suffix d vector is equals to divergence of del d vector upon del t from here we get a displacement current density j suffix d vector which is equals to del d vector upon del t now we can put 
this unknown term that is called a displacement current density and its value is in terms of electric flux density d vector. So, the ampere circuit law for time varying condition become curl of h vector is equals to j vector plus del d vector upon del t vector and this is called a Maxwell's equation for time varying fields and that is based on ampere circuit law. In this the j vector is called a current density or conduction current density its value is sigma into E vector where the second is called a displacement current density that is del D vector upon del T vector. So here in time varying conditions in case of ampere circuit law there is a displacement current density. So what is the use of this displacement current density? Here we note a point that without this term that is D suffix D vector the propagation of electromagnetic wave is not possible. So, this is an important term in case of time varying conditions and it helps in propagation of electromagnetic wave that is called a displacement current density that is noted by J suffix D vector. For example, radio or TV waves that are called electromagnetic waves. So, from here we can write a displacement current that is I suffix D is equals to surface integration JD dot DS. Here J suffix D vector is called a displacement current density and it is equals to del D vector upon del T. Now we make a summary of all the Maxwell's equation in differential form and in integral form. The first Maxwell equation is a Gauss's law which is in differential form that is divergence of d vector equals to rho v means the divergence of electric flux density d vector is equals to volume charge density rho v. This is in differential form. In integral form the Gauss's law is closed surface integration d dot ds is equals to charge enclosed and charge can be written in terms of volume charge density that is volume integration rho v into dv. The second Maxwell's equation is a Gauss's law for magnetic field. The first one is the Gauss's law for electric field and the second is called a Gauss's law for magnetic field. As we know that the magnetic charge cannot be isolated. In case of magnetostatic, both the charges are exist in a pair. We cannot isolate a magnetic charge. So, there is no monopole in case of magnetostatics. So, in this case, the differential form becomes divergence of B vector is equals to 0. Here, B vector is called a magnetic flux density. And divergence of B vector is equals to 0 because there is no magnetic charge. We cannot isolate a magnetic charge. And in integral form, it is equals to closed surface integration B dot ds equals to 0. The third Maxwell's equation is based upon time varying fields, that is a Faraday's law. And Faraday's law in differential form is curl of E vector is equals to minus del B vector upon del T. Here E vector is called the electric field intensity and B vector is called a magnetic flux density. So the time rate of change of magnetic flux density is equals to curl of electric field intensity. This is called a Faraday's law used for the production of electromotive force. And in integral form, the Faraday's law is represented as closed line integration E dot dl is equals to minus del upon del t surface integration B dot ds. This is the third Maxwell's equation for time varying conditions. And the fourth one that is the ampere circuit law. Here, the ampere circuit law is defined for time varying condition. 
In time varying condition, we have to add a new term that is called a displacement current density that is noted by g suffix d vector and its value is del d vector upon del t. So, the Ampere circuit law in time varying condition becomes curl of h vector equals to j vector plus del d vector upon del t. In integral form, the Ampere circuit law is closed line integration s dot dl is equals to surface integration within bracket j vector plus del d vector upon del t dot ds vector. So, these are the four Maxwell's equation in differential form and integral form. The topic is Maxwell's equation for fields varying harmonically with time. A time harmonic field is that field that varies periodically or sinusoidally with time. So, any periodical signal or sinusoidal signal is called a time harmonic field. So, here we talk about our Maxwell's equation for varying harmonic fields. So, here we consider a complex quantity that is e to power j within bracket omega t plus phi. So, this complex quantity can be represented in terms of cos and sin which is cos omega t plus phi plus j sin omega t plus phi. This is a complex quantity and here the j, j is a imaginary part and its value is under root minus 1. So, here for a Maxwell's equation in varying harmonic field, we consider electric field and magnetic field as a bearing of time. So, here we consider a del E upon del T that is a rate of change of electric field intensity. Second is del D upon del T that is called the rate of change of electric flux density. Third is del B upon del T that is called rate of change of magnetic flux density. This consider fields in complex quantity. So, we can write E equals to E naught e to power j omega t plus phi. So, this is a representation of electric field intensity varying harmonic with time. So, from here we can get del E upon del t that is a partial derivative of E with respect to time t and from here we get j omega E because here we again get E naught e to power j omega t plus phi. So, in this place we can write simple e. So, del e upon del t is equals to j omega e. Similarly, we can get del d upon del t that is equals to j omega d and del b upon del t that is equals to j omega b. So, these are the rate of change of fields with respect to time. So, we write in place of del E upon del T, j omega E, del D upon del T, j omega D and del B upon del T, j omega B. So, the differential form of the Maxwell's equation that varies periodically with time is given as that is curl of E suffix S. Here S stands for sinusoidal signals. So, the curl of E equals to minus del B upon del T and in a sinusoidal case, it becomes curl of E suffix S that is equals to minus G omega B suffix S. Here, we put del B upon del T that is G omega B that is suffix S. Similarly, the curl of h suffix s vector is equals to j suffix s vector plus del ds vector upon del t. Place of del d upon del t, we can write j omega d with suffix s. Now, in this, this is the Ampere circuit law for time varying condition and that time varying condition is sinusoidal 1. So, the first term is 
j suffix s vector that is sigma into e vector suffix s and the second one that is d j omega d suffix s as we know that d equals to epsilon e so we get j omega epsilon e suffix s vector now we take a common term that is e suffix s and we get in bracket sigma plus j omega epsilon into e suffix s vector and the third equation in differential form that is divergence of d vector suffix s is equals to rho v suffix s and divergence of b s vector is equals to 0. So, these are the Maxwell's equation in differential form in case of harmonic fields. Next is the in Maxwell's equation in integral form and here we apply a harmonic case. The first is Faraday's law in integral form that is close eye integration E dot dl with suffix s. Now this is equals to minus del upon del t surface integration b dot ds and in place of del upon del t we can write j omega and we write a suffix s. So this is a Faraday's law in sinusoidal case or harmonic case and next is the ampere circuit law in integral form that is a closed eye integration s dot dl equals to surface integration within bracket j vector plus del d vector upon del t dot ds vector. Now in place of del upon del t we can write j omega and here d vector becomes d suffix s vector that is for sinusoidal one and here also the first term is j suffix s vector which is equal to sigma e vector suffix s and in place of d suffix s vector we can write epsilon e suffix s vector. So here we again uh, take a common that is sigma plus j omega epsilon and we get a surface integration e suffix s dot ds vector. The fourth one is closed surface integration d suffix s dot ds is equals to volume integration rho v s into d v. And the fourth one is closed surface integration v dot d s suffix s is equals to 0. So these are the Maxwell's equation fields that are varying harmonically with time and in this Maxwell's equation we write del e upon del t that is j omega e, del d upon del t that is j omega d and del b upon del t that is j omega b.